Welcome to vlog number 115. Uh, so that one calf I'm about to just show you, right now. Brent made a little friend. I recorded a little video on Snapchat of him here. It's just following him around. <laughs> so cute. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's gone missing. It's uh, five o'clock now. That was first thing this morning. 36, the mom kept running around looking for it earlier. And uh, Joey just came out in the field. We've been out here for probably over an hour looking for it. Can't seem to find it. Um, going through the marsh, it looks like the mom crossed the river and the baby went with it. And I have tracks on this side of the river of it walking back and forth. Um, but we can't tell if it goes back across the river or if it's on this side. So Brent and my mom are on that side with the ranger looking and me and Lily are on this side walking back and forth. Can't seem to find it. Uh, I was trying to hear my mom, I could hear a ranger barking, and she's saying something, but, um, yeah, can't seem to freaking find it. I keep hearing w weird noises, but it's all the damn, uh, all the damn mud birds back here squawking and swimming, so I keep thinking, oh, I can hear it. <laughs> I was standing by the river listening. I heard water splash. I was like, <gasps> and I did, I did hurry and flip around and it's just Lily swimming. I'm like, oh my gosh. I heard a whistle. Maybe they found it. Oh, we can see it running all the way down there. Oh, I lost it. There's mom. It was just over here. Oh, there it is. <sighs> Finally found it, Lily. Mama's on this side of the water, so I'm gonna hurry and push her over. Well, they found it, and then it ran right through the fence and ran into this, and they didn't watch it go after this. Pretty sure there's tracks on the other side of this that are calves, so I'm pretty sure it had to be that one because there hasn't been cows around here for a long time. But then you got miles and miles of this crap. And then open, there's a big mud pile over here and there's no tracks through it. So either went straight through there and kept going or they didn't even watch it. They're both standing right there, but neither of them watched where it went in and where it came out. Or if it's just laying in here. But it's pretty easy to walk through. I've already walked through it twice now. So, I mean, I can imagine. And they had two dogs over here. Lily and Ranger came running through here. So, I can't tell what's calf and what's dog. Trying to go through the hard stuff because maybe it just plowed through some hard stuff. But I mean, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack with this crap. My guess is it would have saw an opening and it would have ran through the opening. So just like this, Woo, almost filled up my boot. Just like this, you can walk through, and uh, here you are. Here, there's, I think that's my boat, boot actually. But 
get out here. Let's see, where did I find those tracks? <sighs> Man, what the heck? But I didn't see any tracks through that mud from there to there. So it could have stayed up high. I've already walked through all this. And I walked through some of this. But it could have just kept going that way and it would have just ran through grass. Oh man. What a nightmare. A day old calf. Let's see if I can find these tracks. See like here's a couple of small ones. I think that's probably dog. I think this is where it came through because these ones are deeper. These ones are much deeper. So then I can't, I don't see anything through here. There's nothing over there. Here's one, here's one. But they're deeper. So it was either a dog. See, here's a bunch of them. It's too mushy to tell if it's a dog. Or if it's a freaking calf. Uh, my boots are too small to go through that. Oh my goose. Well, we've been uh, looking. I gave up and I went and got April. And she's just a goer. We've been going through the river back and forth, going through the marsh. She just wants to run though. I'm like, slow your roll, we're looking for a calf. Well, well we ended up not finding it tonight, so we push all the cows over here, put a bale of feed right here, and hopefully it just put it down right there and it'll come out. But, <sighs> Well, I am currently, oh shoot, you guys got, saw part of the set. <laughs> I'm currently cooking uh, some chicken right now for dinner. Um, and I figured I'm hurrying on downstairs and tell you guys the update. We ended up, the calf came back sometime last night. It was out there um, today, um, this morning. So update on everything. I'm actually getting uh, no surgery next Wednesday. What the hell won't that thing stick? I basically can't work for two weeks. It's, I guess, a pretty serious thing where I can't pick anything up. I can't, I can't put anything over my head. Apparently I have to s sleep in either a chair or with a bunch of pillows behind me because I can't go down because of swelling um the lady said they have to go in break my nose do their thing and then put stents up my nose and put a suture in each and they get removed the following tuesday um so in two weeks um so i'm pretty nervous but i literally can't do anything and the lady said that it's going to be really rough for the first three days three four days so pretty nervous. Alyssa staying me with me for the first day and possibly the second day. Um, but uh, apparently it's going to be a pretty rough thing to get over it. But then I'll be able to smell again. So surgery happens next Wednesday and I get the stents out the next following Tuesday. So next vlog I'll have no surgery and hopefully I'll be good enough to edit it. It's happening on Wednesday. And since I can't work for two weeks or do anything, um, I guess I'll be doing a bunch of live streams. Um, but then again, I don't know because I don't know how well it'll be to talk and I don't know um, the type of shape and condition I'm going to be in. So um, pretty nervous for it i thought it was just going to be a quick super simple thing but apparently it sounds like it's a very rough recovering process 
for such a simple thing. So, uh, I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know some stuff. Why does the ceiling look so weird? Looks like it's not textured over there. <laughs> but, um, figured I'd update you guys and let you know, so. <sighs> but, good thing we found the calf, so I gotta go hurry and finish uh, cooking my chicken. Well, Miss April, I don't think I did too bad trimming your feet. She's got some weird feet. But, um, yeah, you can barely trim them or else they go pink real quick. But, yeah. Second horse ever to trim. Well, actually, third. I did Duke and Copper. You're my third horse ever. I gotta put this stuff away. And my back is currently broken. First time I can train up to the walker. He's been in walkers, but they're all the big moving panel ones. Big fancy ones. Though they stay here. Welcome back! It is Saturday afternoon. I already recorded this, but I have to record it because there's some stuff in the background that I needed to blur. Uh, and so I'm redoing this. Anyway, it is Saturday. It is 2 o'clock. We just had someone come deliver some more sod and dirt because we are filling up our backfield. Because the ground is so uneven. Uh, but I was summarizing that uh still going through with the surgery it's on wednesday next week so next vlog you'll see it i'll be uh um, in a lot of pain so i don't know if i'll do any live streaming because the one lady said it's gonna be really rough for the first four days but only time will tell hopefully it's not that bad but I wasn't going to go through with the surgery because of how much it's going to cost. It is very expensive, and I figured for a 45-minute surgery, and I get sent home that same time, I go to the hospital, they um, put me under, they, I'm in surgery for 45 minutes to an hour, I wake up, well, when they're done, they wake me up, and then they kick me out the doors. I figured it wasn't going to be that much, but apparently it's going to be quite a bit of money. And so I almost wasn't going to go through because I'm like, is it really even worth it just to be able to smell? Literally, that's the only problem I'm having. So I figure let's just get it done and um, be in pain for a couple weeks. But I literally can't do anything for two weeks. I can't bend over. I can't put anything above my head or pick up anything up. I can't do anything. So I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do? So meanwhile, I need to finish cleaning the office. The rest of the house we really need to clean because tomorrow is Easter. Alyssa's mom and stepdad are coming over for breakfast in the morning. So I really need to clean the basement. I need to clean upstairs. I need to organize because there are uh, two cabinets in the horse trailer with um, also a really big dresser that's super heavy. And then I clean down. I need to clean downstairs so I have room for that. And then I need to unload it. But when I say I need to clean, the basement is trashed. And there's a lot of work to do. So, And then tomorrow I need to mow and weed eat. Just have so much work to do, and then I'm getting the where my room, where the office was upstairs. I need to finish setting that up because uh, the first few days of surgery, I'm going to sleep in there. Uh, so I don't have any animals in there with me or anything because I basically have to sleep sitting up or in a chair because apparently... Uh, uh, swelling issues, I guess. So, it's not going to be fun, but I figure it'll be worth it. But I need to clean downstairs now, get the house clean for tomorrow, 
and then tomorrow I need a weedy and mow. So if you guys don't see a whole lot in this vlog, it's because I'm going to be cleaning non-stop and getting ready because, well, there's also a bunch of patch jobs upstairs I need to sand. We had holes all over in the drywall um, and other stuff that I've patched with uh, um, some mud and I need to sand it down and then paint. So I need to do all of this in the matter of today and tomorrow. Today is already halfway over because I've been running around doing errands, got my hair cut, and a bunch of other things. Um, but I'd like to get everything done before Wednesday because the surgery on Wednesday, then I'm not going to be able to do anything for two weeks. So I got a lot of stuff I need to get done because there will be time to relax come Wednesday. So I'm going to... Go ahead and let you guys go now, and I'm going to hurry and go start trying to clean and get everything ready because there's so much work to do, and I don't want to do it. Oh. Well, it is Easter, so that means it is Sunday, and it's time to... You guys didn't just say anything. It's time to edit the vlog and get it uploaded. Um... I kind of reorganize downstairs. I just put the couch over here because I am going to get that surgery Wednesday. So I put this bed up in my office so I can um, hang a sheet over the doorway because it's a open door. Um, but I got this bed. I'm just going to sleep downstairs because this bed has a the full... Let's see, the bed's going up. So now I can. Sleep elevated like I'm supposed to. So this is basically just like setting up. But my feet completely hang off the bed, so. <laughs> I don't know about this. But I'm going to try and attempt to sleep on it for the first time few days at least for swelling because i mean i'll show you my feet i sleep on it they're like completely you know which is i mean i guess okay but um i don't know guess we'll guess we'll see because maybe i don't need to sleep this high up maybe it just needs to be a little more down so, um, but on other words, I do need to get this edited and uploaded. And I don't have sheets on this. I don't know where the sheets are to it. Um, I thought I washed them with the comforter, but apparently it was just a bunch of pillowcases. There was one, two, three, four, five, six pillowcases in it. So I don't exactly know where the sheets are, but I'm going to have to find them. So I'm going to get this edited and uploaded. Um... And then I get this figured out, and then we're going to my dad's in like an hour and a half. And I'm going to go hang out with him for an hour, and then go to my mom's for another hour, and then go to Alyssa's dad's for an hour. Um, look at the chicken! <laughs> um, I must have hit one of the buttons. Alyssa's mom came over for breakfast, her mom and stepdad, so that was pretty good, um, slowly going now, oh, and it also has a massage, turn it all the way up, is that all the way up, I think so, <laughs> So it's pretty nice. And then I'll just be sleeping in my office for the next two weeks, maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll see how uh, how it goes. So got to get you guys edited and uploaded. So we'll see you guys' uh, faces in next week's vlog. When I get new surgery. And uh, I'm going to be in a lot of pain for a few days. So uh, wish me luck.